As already mentioned, Excel 2007 now offers a new data handling tool of tables. Tables replace the feature of lists, which were in previous releases of Excel. A table is made up of rows and columns, just like a list, but now tables offer built-in features for managing your table data. You can quickly sort any column data as well as filter any data in a column. Tables also offer built-in calculation columns for automatically adding column data. You can create an Excel table by either converting existing data into a table or by selecting a range of empty cells and converting that into a table. Either way, you must first select the range of cells on the worksheet that you want to convert into a table. Notice that I have some data here on my screen. If I wanted to convert this into a table, I would need to first select the area that I want to be the table or the data and right here I'm selecting the data and then if I come up here to my insert tab the tables group there is a table command and when I select that it will open the create table dialog box with the range that you have selected already listed in the where is your data for the table field notice it's an absolute reference to that range of cells now if you wanted to change the range you can collapse this dialog box and then designate the new range Change and then uncollapse the dialog box by clicking the button again and you have distinguished that new range. Also note that you can also indicate to Excel that your table has a header row which would be the column headings. Ours does so let's go ahead and keep that checked and then say OK. Notice that there are a couple changes here once you choose OK. Your data now at the very top in the heading row has a drop down arrow by each column and if you select that drop down arrow you can then sort the column A to Z or Z to A or by color or you can filter by color as well as apply text filters that allow you to find various features and criteria of your data to pull up and only view. We'll look at all of these later in this chapter. For right now I'll go ahead and just say cancel to get out of there but notice that each column has a drop down arrow so you have your data managing tools right at your fingertips for each of the columns. Also note that you have a contextually sensitive menu that appears when you create a table. It is the table tools design tab. Once you have a table created on your worksheet, if you click anywhere in the cell of the table, you will see this new tab. Notice if I click away, the tab disappears. So if I click in, there's my table tools tab available with all the various commands that come for managing data in a table. Now once you have a table selected you can convert that back to a range of cells by simply selecting the table and then coming over here to your table tools tab, the design tab, and selecting the convert to range. You'll get a dialog box that says do you want to convert the table to a normal range? Well yes we do so we'll go ahead and say yes and convert that back to a range. Again to create a table and let me go ahead and do that. I'll go to my insert menu, back to tables and just click OK. If you wanted to delete a table you simply need to select the table by positioning your cursor on the very edge or border of the table, clicking so that the table is selected and then press the delete key on your keyboard and it will delete the table. Notice that your format is still there so you'll have to clear that away. I'm going to go ahead and undo my delete by pressing Control Z. So that's a few features on how to work with tables. In our project we're going to convert our sales monthly worksheet into a table. So go ahead and open or access your sales monthly workbook and this should look familiar. This is our sales monthly workbook that we've been developing and we are on the week one tab and what we're going to do is convert this area here into a table. So to do that position your cursor at A7 and then click and drag so that you include all the data all the way down to F36. With that selected, come to your insert tab in the tables group and click the table command. The dialog box will appear asking you if this is the correct range. It is. If it's not, collapse the dialog box and reselect your range and then you can un collapse the dialog box. Make sure that you have my table has headers 
that option selected and then click OK. And notice that our data has now been converted into a table. And you can tell that due to the drop down arrows on each of the column headers as well as we have the contextually sensitive menu of table tools design. Go ahead and save your file and let's move on to the next movie.